Hello, everybody. Welcome back. There are three different ways that you can create fold over binding, and we are here to show you that today. First step, let's pull out our fabric. The fabric that we're using is a vibrant electric blue color lycra fabric. We love stretch fabrics when it comes to our bikini. So, of course, that is what we're working with. The first step in getting your fabric prepared for your fold over binding is to cut the selvage off. We just need a straight edge to get everything lined up. So right now we're just unfolding everything and getting everything lined up for that. Line your selvages together, make sure everything is folded properly and smooth everything out. I always use a clear ruler. It helps me to know what I'm doing, if everything's right, if everything's lined up. So we'll start by cutting the selvage off. Bye bye, salvage. The first way to create fold over binding is by using a single fold binding. This is what we're going to start with. We're going to once again use our clear ruler, line everything up so that it's at one and a half inches, and cut. Now heading to the sewing machine, we'll take the top that we're using and we'll take our one and a half inch fold over binding and create a single fold binding. We'll make sure to line up right sides together. Put it under our sewing machine and make sure the presser foot is lined up to the edge of the fabric. And then we'll stitch. Right now we're using a straight stitch just to get everything connected and I am using black thread so that you're able to see everything. Once it's done, snip everything even. Here is your stitch, nice and clean. So what we'll do is we'll look at the inside of the top and we'll just fold that binding over to cover that original straight stitch. We'll place it under the presser foot, make sure everything is lined up. And this one we will be using a zigzag. Personally, we always use zigzag stitches, but you can still do a straight stitch and we'll show that next. So this is what it looks like when you're creating your own single fold over binding. We have used the black thread just so that you can see it, but if you use the electric blue thread or the color that, bl that blends in with the fabric, it looks so seamless. Now on to the second way that you can create fold over binding. We are going to focus on the double fold over binding. And with this, we'll use our clear ruler and cut everything at two inches. And then heading back over to the sewing machine, we'll connect our two inch double fold over binding to our top. We will make sure right sides are together and that the fabric is lined up to the end of the presser foot. Cut everything even and this is what it looks like. Now that that is done, because this is a double fold, we are going to double fold it. The first fold is so that it meets that seam allowance, the end of the seam allowance. Once that's done, the second fold is so that it covers that original stitch. You'll line everything up with the presser foot. 
and this one will do a straight stitch you can do a zigzag i just want to show that you can do it both ways And this is what it looks like. Once again, we are using a black thread just so that you can see everything. But if you're using the same exact color as the fabric, you really can't see anything, it blends in. And last but not least, <laughs> this is our personal favorite. Number three is the fold over elastic. With this step, of course you'll fold it. Place it under the presser foot. We are using a zigzag stitch and start sewing. We're just going to go through the whole top sewing process so you can see how easy and how fast it is. This video is to give you different ways of using the same pattern or different ways of creating the exact same bikini. You can use a single fold binding, a double fold binding. Uh, you can use the fold over elastic. The different ways are for different things. A lot of times some people will use a double fold binding if the fabric that they're using can fray at the end. So if you're covering it, you won't you won't be able to see it. So it's, it definitely has to do with neatness. Um, you can use a single fold binding also. If you have a fabric like Lycra that does not fray, that works also. This is what it looks like when you're done sewing the top. Everything looks seamless. We have used the same exact color as the binding. So you, as you can see, everything blends in. I didn't do any cuts in sewing this one top. I may have sped it up a little bit, not even a lot, um, but I did just want to show you the whole process. That easy, that simple, that fast. And we created the tunnel so you can put your strap through. So to sum everything up, these are the three different ways that you can create your own fold over binding. We have the single fold over binding, the double fold over binding, and we have the fold over elastic binding. And we have shown you different ways that you can zigzag stitch it or straight stitch it. If you want the binding to be thinner, then you can cut the original binding smaller. So maybe instead of cutting a one and a half inch, then you can cut one inch. Instead of cutting the two inches for the double fold, maybe you can cut the one and a half inch. So you can just play with things, see how you like it, see how you want your own bikini to look. Um, but yeah, this is what everything looks like. We have all of our different patterns below. You can click that link and you can take a look. We have so many different videos that you can take a look at and see what it is that you may want to create and how easy it is for you to do it. You can use our patterns, you can use our videos to create your own bikinis or to even create your own bikini line. But we thank you so much for supporting us. Um, please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Please subscribe. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Um, we're almost there. We just need about 200 more. <laughs> and then we'll reach that threshold. But thank you so much um, for all of your support. And we hope to see you in the next video.